For the latest film interviews, reviews and everything making news in pop culture, subscribe to Film Companion now. In my special mentions, Gunjan Saxena, The Kargil Girl, Thappar, Serious Men and Raat Akeli Hai. The latter two were propelled by Nawazuddin Siddiqui in ferocious form. The former two were women empowerment stories which despite their flaws, landed persuasively. Tapsi Pannu as the housewife who initiates a quiet rebellion in Thappar was fantastic. Gunjan Saxena, despite the predictable beats, had me weeping copiously. Janvi Kapoor's sincerity propelled the narrative, but the magic was wrought by Pankaj Tripathi. Can a daughter ask for a warmer, wiser cheerleader? At number 5, Sir. The hesitant relationship between a maid and her upper-class employer. This is a minefield of a story. But writer-director Roina Guerra ventures into it with an observant eye and tenderness. Sir doesn't scream about inequality, the class divide, the folk who serve people like us and who we rarely acknowledge. Instead, Rohina builds little moments of hurt and happiness. You want to be a tailor from childhood? Fashion designer. Designer? I can do it. The film rides on Tilotama Shom's brilliant performance. Ratna had grace, strength and dignity. I was rooting for her all the way. At number 4, Loot Case. I don't think we applaud enough the artists who make us laugh. Loot Case, directed by Rajesh Krishnan and written by Kapil Savant, put a smile on my face for days. The story of a working class man, Nandan, who finds a suitcase filled with 10 crore in cash is inspired comedy. From Nandan and his wife Lata using Chinese dishes as code for sex, to Gajraj Rao as the hysterically oily MLA, to Vijay Raz as the suave Don Bala who is a fan of National Geographic, Loot Case is consistently inventive and hilarious. Hey, where are you from? Why? There's a lot of money in the house. It's not going to be a lot of money. This is one film that I wished had released in theatres. I think it would have worked magic. At number three, Cargo. Cargo is proof that a filmmaker's imagination can trump stars, scale and budgets. Director Aarti Kadav builds a future world. The film is set in 2027 that is both audacious and original. Cargo, about demons who work on a spaceship where humans are prepped for rebirth, explores loneliness, death, relationships, but all with a touch that is both light and hefty. The lead actors Vikrant Masi and Shweta Tripathi are stellar and the production design by Mayu Sharma is a thing of beauty. He repurposes retro TV sets and customized vacuum cleaners into gadgets of the future. I love the sly humor that Aarti inserts into this grim scenario. There is death here, but no despair. People say that they come here when everything is finished. It's never finished for anything. Somewhere, somewhere, something is going to die. Always. If you haven't seen Cargo yet, do find it on Netflix. At number two, Vishanu. I know this is supposed to be a list of feature films, but hey, it's 2020, nothing is what it's supposed to be. Vishanu is one of the five short films in an Amazon Prime anthology named Unpaused. It's been directed by Avinash Arundhavre and written by Shubha. Vishanu, which means virus, is about a migrant family that has been rendered jobless and homeless in the lockdown. They become squatters in a sample flat, but their luxurious surrounding only reminds them and us of how threadbare their life is. But even in these dire straits, they find a moment of joy. Vishanu says so much with so little. And the acting by Abhishek Banerjee and Gitika Vidya Oryan is terrific. And number one, it's E Baleu. In the opening credits of E Baleu, director Pratik Vats thanks the monkeys of Lutian's Delhi. It's deserving because they play a starring role in this ferociously original satire about the struggle of a migrant worker in New Delhi. Anjani is a professional monkey repeller. His job is to scare the monkeys away so that the bureaucratic machinery in government buildings such as Rail Bhavan, Vigyan Bhavan and Nirman Bhavan continues without disruption. In a sense, Anjani works at the corridors of power, but the irony is that he is powerless. Even the monkeys he's trying to scare seem to have more agency than him. Anjani is so marginalized that he's invisible. Shardul Bharadwaj's performance as Anjani is terrific. 
Pratik and writer Shubham create a film that is both darkly funny and subtly harrowing. Tinga mane galte hum. Bandar. Eat. Rangur. Hey. Aadmi. Kam karte ho ki ban ke upar dependent ho. Sarkari naukri hai. Bandar bhagata hai. Ibaleu is a penetrating and brilliant commentary on the state of our nation. This is a masterful debut. What do you think of my list? Please tell me what your favorite films of 2020 were in the comments below.